26 and our final day on the slopes. Another great day waking up in Morsey. Today we're going over to Switzerland, but we're going to go via the wall. So watch out for the footage later of, of the wall. I've already said that you know, Catherine's not going to do it, nor is uh, the little one, but maybe Harrison and Dan will do it. So we'll see what it has to say. Look at the fog and the mist over the slopes. Very eerie. Day six on our way to the wall today over in Switzerland, the famous run. Apparently six to nine people die on it a year. So uh, we need to be very careful today. Obviously last day, we don't want any uh, any troubles. All right, so behind me we have the uh, Swiss wall and uh, we've just seen a snowboarder fall all the way down, uh, probably past that rock. Uh, it looks quite fun. There's been a number of uh, fatalities along this wall each year, and uh, we can see why. <laughs> oh, look at, look at the guy in the green hat. So Catherine, what do you think of the wall? Oh my god, the wall is just incredible. I can't believe I have done the hardest run in Europe. Nine people die every year on that wall. Yeah, well that's why I think it was best to do it on the chairlift. <laughs> Rather than oh, the thing. damn it, you busted me. I did it on the chairlift. I think there are times where you just say, and you trust your instincts and say, I'd rather live another day. Yeah, I'd rather live to see tomorrow than um, go, on go home and see Baloo than uh, be in hospital. So the health and safety officer has uh, <laughs> made a decision that we will not be doing the wall run, having seen the snowboarder fall down from the top to the bottom on his back. Uh, it's just not worth it. As you can see, absolutely crazy. So now everyone is sulking because being head of health and safety and chief of the fun police and not allowing everyone to do the wall, which you can see in the distance there is truly ridiculous with that, uh, is it decline? Kalur at two. Kalur, it's up for all spritz o'clock. Things going to be. So Harrison, were you gutted that you didn't do the wall? I'm doing it tonight. You're going to do it in the dark. Sensible. Very. I think Burton needs to start sponsoring me. Tag them in the description, please. <laughs> so Dan, how has your day been so far? The day's been good today. We're very tired though. I think six days of non-stop snowboarding around the mountain. It's finally kind of caught up with me. It's time to go back for a rest. You know, back to work. Fancy a stop up at La Folly Douche on the way back? Yeah, we'll stop up at Folly Douche, see whether there'll be any dancing on the table.
last we're actually following Catherine the last run of the holiday and finally she's in front end of the week Catherine how do you feel oh my legs are tired uh, I've had a great week lots of skiing uh, lots of Aperol spritz lots of sunshine it's been a lovely week apart from my children. Have you had a nice week, Ava? Yes, I've had a really lovely week, thank you. Harrison, have you had a nice week? It's average. Why was it average? Because you're all uh, too slow for me. I like to go on a holiday all by myself. Okay, when you're... Not, not all by myself, with quick people. Okay, when you're 18, you can do whatever you like. No, I can do when I'm 50. <sighs> Catherine, did you have a nice week? sunshine, lots of skiing, uh, lots of nice Aperol spritz, um, lots of beautiful views across the mountain, hot tubs, gin and tonic, just everything is lovely. Daddy, how's your week? Week has been great, apart from I think I've shouted at the kids wait probably a thousand times <laughs> and I've shouted at Harrison to slow down about two thousand times. And if I add it all up, I think we've waited about five hours for Catherine at the end of every run. But apart from that, it's been a great week. I can finally get this rucksack off that I've been carrying everyone's jumpers, water, safety equipment, food, basically a mall, a mule all around the mountains for the kids. Yeah. 